First reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Thessalonians, chapter 4, verses 9 to 11. Now, concerning love of the brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anyone write to you, for you yourself have been taught by God to love one another. And indeed, you do love all the brothers and sisters throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, beloved, to do so more and more, to aspire to live quietly, to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands as we directed you. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then a one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then a one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant! So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter? Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even when he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young people, today is Saturday, 2nd of September 2023. We are on the last day of the 21st week of the ordinary time. The Gospel once again from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 36. It is about the parable of three servants. The master is decided to go on a journey. He wants to go on a pilgrimage. He calls the three servants and he entrusts to the three servants certain sum of money, wealth, in order during his absence, they will make use of what they receive in order to bring and bear fruit. 
He is given to one 5,000 denarii, and to some, the other one 2,000, and to the third one 1,000. So each one has got something, 5,000, 2,000, and 1,000, according to their capacity. The gospel says it is given to them according to their capacity. So what happens when he comes back? He calls the three and he naturally, the owner, the master, he wants to find out what you have done with 5,000, what you have done with 2,000, what you have done with 1,000 given to you all free, in order to make a life fruitful, bearing. And now here comes the first one, and he returns another 5,000. The master is so happy. He's given more, and he's given responsibility over cities and cities. The second one comes with 2,000. He gives back another 2,000. The master is happy. He's given responsibility over cities. The third one comes with 1,000. He has all the reasons to not to have invested that money. He just says, Lord, Master, you are a cunning man. You are a hard man. You are a difficult man. You reap where you do not sow. And you harvest things that you have never scattered. Therefore, I was afraid. I have hid, I have hid the, the wealth and, and here 1,000 back to you. The master is angry. This servant did not know how to make use of the talent that was given to him. Each one is given differently. Therefore, Jesus takes back 1,000, gives it to the one who has 5,000. And he says, yes, the one who does not know how to make use of the Talent, it will be given to the one who has the most. And the one who did not know how to make use of the talent, he will be thrown out into the dark, where there will be grinding of teeth and tears, because the pain is so hard to bear up. Therefore, let us make use of the talents that God has given to us to produce for the kingdom of the Lord.